So what's this whole vibe about Jesus Christ and the Christian religion gaining in significance nowadays as the right is applaud? Well, religion always was tool of control over minds, souls and hearts. In other words, it was highly politicized. As for that irrelevant Galilean Jew who had no divine descent, no divine lineage, well, he was slayed in a place called Lydda, stoned to death. He was not even crucified. However, the Judeo-Christian virus was carried on. The apocalyptism. Apocalyptism to Jews meant that the world will end, the evil demiurge in the Gnostic sectarian ideas, and that they will be liberated from the Roman rule. It was carried on to John of Patma, who hated Diocletian and his wife Virginia Valeria Prisca. So the whole apocalyptic, the world will end, self-fulfilling prophecy, the world won't end, I assure you. If you bomb this world to hell, your souls go straight to hell. Because unfortunately the soul, the human soul is not immortal, the spirit is, the daimon, as the Greek or Romans believed, as the Egyptians believed. So, we are moving into a politicized version of modern Christianity in which we meet new converts meeting a blind faith wall. What are the techniques of conversion? There are plenty of hired souls of fanatics making you feel the charisma or forcing you to kneel, making you feel the presence of, presence of Jesus himself and Virgin Mary's by thousands. Now, use your brains. They tried to brainwash me into that Judeo-Christian shice because I was a highly potent magician with a logos that was carried on on the waves of the ethers. Just imagine a brainwashed guy like me spreading the bullshit about Jesus and Christianity worldwide. Another fanatic, another fucking celeb. I would have my career, my job, my wife wouldn't be slaughtered, my two serpent daughters would probably wouldn't be destroyed. However, there was one condition, convert or perish, said the fucking Jesus are Jewish pigs. So, we are living at the brink of an age when they try to consolidate uh, a bit in a tragic farcical manner the rule over the uh, souls of Earth, and that will end up in complete slaughter, a disaster, a genocide, which myself I try to also prevent by not believing those shitwits. Now, they have no influence Beyond Av, if you believe in the God of everything, that's the Jewish concept. Fuck that. They have no idea what they're dealing with, and they have absolutely no ideas about the forces or powers in this universe that are profound and work like an occult machinery, unmerciful to earthly little souls on Earth. So, from a metaphysical perspective, that is covered. They are going straight into the Plato's, not caves, but catacombs, and burying themselves deeper into the shit of hells. But maybe that's the purpose. Convert as many as possible. After they drop dead, they go straight to hell. Promised that they'll go to heaven. Now that is fantastic. Or cooperating with Nulgal Mesh or the old Sumerian Covenanters, the princes of the world, Igigi, that are as in the Anuna, the seven planets in hypostasis. Reaching back to the ancient traditions, well, the gods are back and they don't quite like what those Judeo-Christian shitwits done. So, every single Christian that is baptized, baptism is a Jewish idea too, it was symbolizing the political liberation from Roman rule. So, Christians are basically sectarians of the Jews. And uh, my advice to the new converts and those spreading the message of that Jew, Galilean, is do your business. But in hell, do your business. It's none of my business to stop you from converting as many as possible. The harvest await. However, if you're intent on proving your point by destroying this world, your suffering will last millions and millions of years until sun will scorch earth until it will turn into a super giant. You receive the warning. You're just little mortal solids. Biomass. To develop a pneuma, you need to go through occult magical operations, to mystagogy, psychagogy, 
through very highly sophisticated rituals, operations, magical ceremonies in cooperation with gods that will build a diamond for you. Otherwise, you're just praying to bullshit. You can pray all your lives for this, for that. You can use your celebs, your politicians to spread your bullshit, your pops to spread your crap. However, it won't help you with anything apart from spreading the disease and lies, and Christians are accused of spreading the Jewish lies worldwide. Because they're hooked up under the architectures of the Jewry and the magicers that build those architectures. It is so simple. So, next time you see fucking thousands flying Virgin Marys or hundreds of Jesuses arising out of thin air trying to convert you or you feel this inclination to believe I was raised a heathen, I have nothing to do with this shit but they are very intent on convincing me towards this shit So, Caesarized wreaths of laurels upon my temples You have a choice you have a chance to use your brains, to use your intellects, to use your reason, your ethos, your virtue, your aritology, to participate in the feasts of gods and goddesses, or to be slave to the Judeo-Christian agenda and plan. Because from a metaphysical perspective it is a catastrophe and you're going straight to hell after you die. Amenta, the pool of fires, your souls will be exterminated after serving the time. What about those flying things? Triregnum of Earth, or the magnetosphere upon which the fake heavens and the towers were built upon by Jews and Christians. This will be smashed to pieces. And with it, the heavens shall burn because they illegally built so-called heavens of Earth around the globe. And those liars gonna pay, one by one, since slaughter of their priesthoods and masters, and then down to the single most idiotic imbecile that bought this crap because you could use your brains nobody forbade you to Giordano Bruno burnt in 1600 he used his mind and he was annihilated with human stupidity ignorance and delusion with Judeo-Christian stupidity ignorance and delusion the gods themselves contend in vain but they won't stop you from burning your souls or from believing in this bullshit or for destroying this world globally. They won't. You cry for a divine intervention? Look for reason and intelligence and education. That's the best divine intervention you can get. You're looking for metaphysical experiences. It's not a supermarket of fringe beliefs, supermarket of make-believe. You need to focus, concentrate and walk your ass off. I walked with my hidden magical path for 25 years. And I achieved everything that I wanted to, with my name immortalized in the stars, with my heart capitalized thrice in gold. Tris Megistus. Now, that said, you can think twice before you convert to this crap. So simple.